Hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting Adobe Audition tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn about the lift and extract command okay now for example uh, in your audio uh, in your project you want a certain portion of the video or audio to be removed and you want that place to be filled with another clip or something else okay the easiest way is to just select that or if you want to remove both audio and video select them out you can hit the delete key if you want to remove one of them select one of them then hit the delete key if they are synced or linked and this icon is pushed then you cannot select them like this then you have to hold down the alt key to select an individual one then you can delete hit the delete key and then it would be removed and then if you want to fill this gap you have to uh, bring the you know other clip from back and that place or gap will be filled that's how you do it one way is this okay but for example you want to remove a portion of it not all the clip of it then selection would not do that for you then you have to go to the razor tool and then if your clips are not linked like they are linked like this then you cannot make both uh, the um, select them both then you have to you can cut only one individual one and if you want to cut both of them then or all the tracks then hold on the shift key and as you can see this white line comes over here uh, which goes through all tracks and it will cut them all like that now you can remove this part if you don't want it okay or if you don't want the beginning part of this clip you can remove select it and remove it one thing you should have noticed that when i use the razor key it did not cut this um, green line or track because is that uh, I had this lock I can push and uh, it uh, this command gives it the order that no editing is allowed on this track even accident and it is useful for uh, determining that if a clip that you track that you are not working you should lock it so that accidental uh, editing should not happen to it you know even if I click with there is a tool it does not cut it or anything so once my clip is been broken or cut in half then I can delete the portion that I desire but that's just a little too much steps involved and doing it precisely also is a little bit harder okay the easier way to do this is to bring your player to the place where you are uh, clip starts and then hit the i key on the keyboard which uh, uh, marks the beginning part then bring the uh, end player to the end of that clip and hit the o key on your keyboard and then it uh, marks the end part of it i and o keyboard shortcuts you know it, it marks the beginning and the end part or the start or the end part then you can come to this icon which says lift or you can hit the semicolon on the keyboard and when you click it it removes it but the problem is that this gap is left for example this gap is not bothering you you want to fill it with another thing or you have a background layer you know on top of this or below this track and you want that to be shown up so then the gap is not a problem but if you want this gap to be filled in don't want the darkness or blackness of the screen to show or of the video then I'm gonna control Z that instead of using the lift key uh, use the extract key when you push the extract key and that removes that clip and it also brings all the big uh, or uh, the end clips uh, to join with the other clip that has been removed you are not limited to removing the entire parts of the uh, entire clips you can of course make a selection inside the clip and it's gonna cut this clip and make a two clip of, of this and if I use the lift key it's gonna leave a gap between these two clips and if I use the uh, extract uh, command then it's gonna remove the portion of the clip and also it's gonna join these two clips for example we are making or making a, a video and uh, just like I'm making it and in the middle of it you sneezed or someone punched you in the mouth or something like that okay so you do not need to use the razor tool for everything you can just mark the end point and the end beginning point and then use the extract command they just save you a little bit of time and saving every second in the editing process is a huge bonus so that said 
I completed this tutorial I hope you liked it and now you are able to use the extract and lift command if you didn't know this already so uh, I take my leave from you guys until next tutorial goodbye